Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, today we're going into the cove. There's fish people out here. And it's a skirmish map, so we have to complete 100% of room battles. Up for grabs, we have some gold, some deeds, and some damage stones. Both of which I'm happy about these last two. Gold is always nice, of course. We're taking out uh, Mavis Arhelion. We're taking out Caliban the Abomination, Grey the Vestal, and Lilith Darkblood as our succubus. Yes, our succubus. Let's uh, rock and roll. Going into the cove, we need to consider a couple of things. Um, one, we... I think we want to bring a lot of shovels, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to take four. That's probably overkill. But I'd rather have too many than not enough. And I think the cove has, like, a lot of obstacles and even curios that we can break down. We'll take uh, a couple of keys, a couple of medicinal herbs. We'll take uh, eight torches and... Maybe some bandages? I think that's probably okay. I think that's probably fine. Uh, we could take a holy water, I guess, but... I think this is fine. Okay, let's rock and roll. Today's log comes from Suggestive Artifacts, who's writing for our Paracausalist Kebab. It's currently undergoing some flagellation. I did my job, nearly died, and joined the phantasms. And the master leaves me cradling my entrails in the street with naught but Jeff the psychopath for company, while Gray and Lachlan get to entertain themselves. In times like this, I wish I was a gynecologist. Fair. Fair. Thralls will explode if left for too long. We'll have to watch These for those. Soaked caverns are teeming with nice nightmares. scout right off the bat. They must be flushed out. So it's a single path, and uh, we have no options. So we're just going to go through all of them. I'm expecting last room we probably have a fight. Uh, let's check what the trap disarm is like on these guys. 60-50, 60-50. Not awesome. Not awesome. But... Hmm. He's got a little... He's got some ways of de-stressing. Let's see if she can get it. Okay, excellent start. Fantastic. I guess... <laughs> by that logic. Oh, that hurts. 11 rounds of it. Uh, by that logic, we should have just tried to disarm on him because if it failed, he could de-stress, so it's all good. I'm actually going to uh, snuff this out and pick up these few curios in a row here. And Empty or not, it's a great idea in theory. What do you got for us? All right. Cool 1500. One portrait. Not bad. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay. We got the surprise off, which is good. Um, this little guy is going to go for some protection. Blight's pretty good against these guys. We could hit that middle line, I suppose. Yeah, let's go middle. I think we probably still want to get that shaman, if possible. What's their stun like? Actually, not bad. If we do the yop, though, the attack to the backline and the judgment, I feel like we might even be better off. We do three to six here, one to two. Yeah, let's just, let's go for damage. Guess for that little self-heal. We could go for just disabling the stress skills, which would be nice. Stealing damage here. Stun if they're marked, which we don't have. Force guard by ally and ally in a de-stress. Let's go uh, here. Just in case our attack misses. There's our mark. Just disable the stress skills. And iron swan. Boom. All right, sick. Never mind. That'll do. Shocker. Fear fishing can hurt. Oh, nice dodge on the brine. I think... I can't I can't remember if, what the brine does exactly for us. I don't know if any of these guys deal stress. Um, I want to test something here. So let's use this. We can only use it twice. Um, actually, let's do it something like this. Nah, I'm not going to get too fancy. 
All right. So Blight Resist is down. Minus 3% damage for one battle. Now she gets this damage until camp. That's what I thought. And this is really, really important. Um, we can get her super strong. And then when we do transform her and start dealing actual damage, she's just going to start crushing. There's all this protection to chew through here. Let's just start getting damage in. Nice crit, I'll take that. Little stress reduction. And of course, the crit's right back. That is uh, not a small amount of bleed, but we can out heal it. Let's go Blight again here. So this guy's dead. This guy's dead next round. Oh, yeah, okay. The brine can give diseases. Excellent. Just a casual... Just casual syphilis on Caliban. It's great. That's great. Minus 5 accuracy, minus 10% damage. Ex ex that's great. Awesome. No problem. No problem at all. Uh, do we have any... Disease removal? Not like we're going to be camping, but some classes can remove diseases, so... Uh, I don't even I can't even target this front line. Let's just do this. We'll focus on some uh, stress reduction here. I might as well uh, take advantage of this as well. 12 damage boost. We can try the stun at 50% and maybe get a little extra healing in. We could bandage this off, I suppose. But I think we can just out heal it. Okay, we got the stun on. Now we can't mess around for entirely too long. I'm gonna go silent curse here just so we can get the mark. <laughs> Monsters with high prop, we should use damage over time. Yes, makes sense. I'm going to do this again. Get him as low as possible. Heal up. Nice, we got that early heal. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and... Hmm. Do we want to transform? Yeah, let's do it, actually. That's sick. Goes to the front, we get a little stress reduction. And then we've got armor piercing here, so really good against protection. Uh, we could bleed if we wanted to, or we can go protect your goddess where we get them to come and block. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. Boom. Executed with impunity. A little stress reduction there. And we didn't take the uh, the damage suck from everybody else that we normally would. Because we got the kill on the same turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear this up. Pretty good start. Pretty, pretty good. Man, just curios left, right, and center. Let's collect ourselves. Eerie Coral. Okay. I think... I think we either want to... I think we need to use medicinal herbs. And I think this gets rid of a, a bad quirk. I'm pretty confident that that's what it is. Just want to see what would be good to get rid of. I don't really want to get rid of Love Interest because it fits Gray so well. 20 Stress in the Cove, though, would be, you know, really nice. Reckless is a good one to get rid of. We don't really have a choice, but getting rid of the 20 stress in the cove. Let's flip that coin. Nice. Nice. Oh, we got the perfect one. Great. Excellent job, Gray. And I'm glad that I could remember that because it's pretty helpful. Uh, fish, let's use herbs as well. Get some food out of there. Oh, we didn't even get food. I thought we got food from those. My bad. 
60. Man, her stress is already at 47. I, I would like to avoid 100. But um, at 60%, there's a decent chance. And we failed again. Excellent. Mechanical hazards possessed. Now I'm all in on I'm all in on her stress. Corey Mavis. Now we're hitting these scouting chances heavily. Who's got the extra who's got the scouting? Hmm. Eerie Coral again. This is really nice. And we've got the uh, medicinal herbs for it. Okay, so we take Dud Hitter or Bad Healer. Bad Healer and Dud Hitter aren't that bad. Guilty Conscience, maybe. Reckless would be a good one to get rid of. Ligophobia, not too concerned. Let's have her do it. See if we can get rid of Reckless. <laughs> Guys! Holy moly. Pretty lucky. I will say. I'm gonna let the light dwindle here. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. 60%. Could she fail 60% three times? There you go. There you go. Okay. Let's see if we scout this again. No. Where are we at? Two torches left. We'll pump one in here to be max. Oh, just right on cue. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay, well, we know where our last fight is. We actually do have two fights coming up. Let's see what we got. Okay. Couple of stunners, some brine. Good resist, good resist. Um. Hmm. I think we're going to do this. Try to capitalize on that in the battles. We're up to 24% damage now. We'll toss some Blight into the middle. Oh, yuck. Big whiff. Such a Ouch. Terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Hmm. Let's see if we can stun one of these guys. 50%. We got it. I'm okay, I'm okay taking the, the stuns. I don't want to take extra diseases, if possible. That was close. Resist, resist. No. Not this time. Be cool, Mavis. Minus 45 dodge. Hmm. Let's do this again just to capitalize on the damage suck. Continue the onslaught. Not bad. Destroy and the crit. Them all. Bleeds at 50% there. Let's see if we can stun these guys. They both resisted. If we don't get stunned out here, we're going to start transforming. Ah, we got stunned. Hmm. Let's get some damage on. Nice. She's critting a lot. Try and toss down more bile here. There we go. All right. Let's go here. Their formation is job, Mavis. Maintain the offensive. Let's transform now. And we'll deal with this protection pretty easily, I think.
I don't think we need to pull one of these guys. Two damage. Either one of these is a kill. Oh, look at that. 36% damage throughout the course of this dungeon. Still going to have it going into this last room as well. I'm going to see if we can stun this out. Nice. We'll go for some heals here. Not amazing. Is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Success so clearly in view. All right, let's read this. The blackest of fates. I will return with Cuthbert's banner and Bolain's crossbow as to honor them with a proper burial. I will leave what is left of thrice damned Mazir and his trinkets to the swine folk. Perhaps they will build him the memorial he rightly deserves. Perhaps they will. So going into the last room. If only treasure could staunch let's torch up and let's heal up. Corruption. We're maxed out. Okay, let's do it. Depending on what we're facing. Okay, so we'll disable stress back here. Ah, uh, he's guarding. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, he's just buffing for now. Nice dodge, Lilith. Nice dodge. Let's disable stress skills back here. Sick. Okay, cool. We'll put the beast bile in the middle. Only 15 HP, so we do have to watch for that. Let's Iron Swan over the top here. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so now they're guarding. So this guy's in front with all the protection. He went for a heal because he couldn't de-stress. I'm pretty sure these guys de-stress. Be awkward if they don't. Our backline damage isn't exceptional here. Let's try and get more of this going. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, that'll work for me. I'm going to transform. She's in a bit of a risky spot here. But she is going to heal a little bit from her health stealing. We could try this now. I can't hit the back line anyways. And we can force a guard. Potentially. Let's try this. We got the stun off as well, so this is going to last an extra, t an extra round. So now if she gets attacked, this guy is going to take that damage. So we're just going to let this happen. I'll maybe try a stun here. Good stuff. Here we go. See, so he comes in and blocks that. That's so sick. I love this class, but really fragile. Really, really fragile. More Blight from Caliban. It's just through group heal. Nice job, Gray. Hmm. We can go for stuns here. Yikes. Unfortunate. Nerves and panic. This bypasses guard and ignores armor. Let's uh, bypass the guard. Surprise, surprise. Give them no quarter. Oof. This bleed. 
causing some problems. Hmm. Do I just go more Blight here? I think we can kill him with other stuff. I'm gonna just try and stop this guy from acting. Job, Caliban. I'm not so concerned about healing right now as we are about just finishing. So he's toast. Look at down to zero stress on Gray. Big damage here from Lilith. Ignoring protection. Close. So he's dead next round. They're both actually dead the next time they act. She might go to death's door, but that's fine. That's fine. There's not much I can do about her stress. It is what it is. Actually, the concern that we do have is her stealing health here. Um, if she's on death's door, that could kill her. So let's just do this. Nice. I probably should have snuffed there earlier. May indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Excellent. Okay, pretty good run. Pretty good run. We took a little bit of stress on Mavis there, but the things are driven all things considered, pretty good. Time. Got to kind of showcase the succubus a little bit. In a long run, where you have the options of where to camp and where to rest. Building up that damage over time can make her super, super strong. But I do think some, like, some HP trinkets would be good. Even though most of them are percentage-based, we're not going to see a huge impact from her. I hope we find some decent ones. Extra stress versus humans. <laughs> As a succubus, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, minus 5% crit on range skills. Inspiring cries, 66%. Stress healing received is not bad. Okay. Did take a uh, syphilis on Gray. Ah, nice. And delusion. Nice. Blood scourge. Of a thousand lifetimes. We have our flagellant. Our first one. Offrey for now. In the blood. For those with the fortitude to pay the price. Coming in with natural. So when he's not wearing any trinkets, he gets plus 20% HP, plus 20% healing, and plus 3 speed? That's awesome. Very cool. The thing is, like, we normally want to give him uh, bleed trinkets, right? But he's coming in unlocked with punish for a lot of bleed on the front line. Uh, a big heal. A big heal for himself. 34% max HP and a bleed. Only valued below 40% HP. Reclaim so he can heal two points per round and a chance to bleed. Or straight bleed. And then redeem when he's below 40% HP, just a big heal as well. So pretty good unlocks for him, actually. Pretty cool unlocks. Okay, so let's first of all get rid of these guys. I'm trying to like work into a rhythm, you know, where we kind of do a similar thing over time. I really like this legendary bracer. I think this is quite good. 20% damage, 10% stress, which we can offset with other trinkets, though. Um, but this is a boss fight. So we definitely would want to take at least level 1s, preferably level 2s, just so that um, we're a little bit more confident. We can decide where we're going in a second. Uh, let's do our recruits here. All right, cool. So another flagellant. We have an exorcist, a musketeer, and a man at arms. All right, let's bring them all in. The raw strength of youth may be spent. But his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. So the Musketeer, um, in case you're wondering, this is a DLC class, but we're using a mod called, I think it's called a Better Musketeer, which changes it. Because essentially the DLC was just a reskin for the Arbalist, I believe. And uh, now it's kind of a unique class because of that mod. The Exorcist is really cool. Um, there's some good damage stacking. Uh, against Unholy and Eldritch. This Word of Power, is the more you attack with it, the stronger it gets. There's uh, some heal that clears horror, clears stuns, clears marks. 
very nice. And this is very reminiscent of uh, like the movie, The Exorcist, if you get into the backstory and stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go and uh, find our new recruits and I'll introduce you in a second. Okay, welcome back. So we've got our new recruits. We've got first up a flagellant. Flagellant or yeah, I think this is how you say it. Flagellant or flagellant? I'm not sure. It might it might lean towards flagellant, <laughs> but either way, we we all know what we're saying. We all know what we're saying. Okay, this is Nightwalker, our flagellant. Lots of bleed unlocked. I'm not going to go through all these skills uh, multiple times for classes that we've uh, talked about or seen before. Um, so Nightwalker's backstory is this. Nightwalker was born with the name Paul Goodman, and his parents were extremely wealthy. But when it came time for military service, his parents were quick to sign him up. But it turns out that signing up a 16-year-old boy for service was not a good idea. He served in the ugliest part of the military, which no man would want to work. He quickly learned to kill fast and efficiently. Soon killing wasn't enough for him. And he was discharged for allegedly murdering multiple of his own units. The report says Paul severed... Or Paul... I think this is supposed to be Paul persevered for 30 years. And then he had developed major mental problems around 29 years in. Hmm. Said he was always hearing voices or something. Men said he always acted different when nighttime came, but they never came back when they went on missions with him. Cool. Very cool. Welcome to the squad there, Nightwalker. Fitting name for a fitting backstory. Edmund the boss, another uh, man-at-arms coming in with wheel tactician, rune scrounger, tippler, and stress in the warrens. Not amazing. Um... Edmund, his story is this. He's a grumpy old man and former mercenary who used to do his work around the same region as the Hamlet long ago. With his younger companions, Ash and Oliver, and himself as leader, they form the Iron Fangs of West Warrens. They're quite profitable mercenary company. <laughs> Interesting. West Warrens, Warrens phobe. Okay. Uh, until it ended. After that, the commotion around the ancient res residence and the hamlet started. With that, a new opportunity was set for Edmund, and he begun to do what he does best. Though this new work brings him good memories, he considers his old subordinates to be a thing of the past. The idea of the Iron Fangs of West Warrens being reunited is utter insanity. Unless... Dot, dot, dot. We'll see where that leads. Uh, welcome to the team, Edmund. Happy to have you. Next up, we have another flagellant or flagellant with Cove Scrounger. Cove Explorer, Hylomania, and Tactless. Both of these are unknowns, right? You can These can just trigger and bad things can happen. This is Kaz, and uh, his backstory is this. We find Kaz in a cult that preys on the weak-minded. On a dreadfully cold night, a full moon begins the Festival of Ascension. One by one, each drinks the nectar of Ascension. One by one, each fall. Kaz takes the cup in his hands and with a deep breath drinks down the bitter release. As if falling in slow motion, the whole future of his life is played out in his mind's eye. When the cold earth finally meets his face, darkness consumes him. Some time passes, Kaz's eyes go wide as he gasps for breath. Snow softly falling from the darkened sky, mounds of snow now bury the ascended. A feeling of deja vu overtakes him as he turns his head towards the darkness of the woods. Then the sound of a stagecoach is heard in the distance. Kaz grins and walks into the darkness. And look where he ended up. Now, uh, the Flagellant class, in case you don't know, they have a higher uh, death blow resist naturally. And I believe that if these guys get to 100 stress, this can actually be a good thing for them. They actually get benefits from having an affliction, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so death blow resist at 73 is nice, but we want to get trinkets to kind of make that even stronger. They definitely are strongest when they're below... Um, 40% HP. That's where they can get a bunch of that healing off. They can transfer a lot of stuff from other people to them. They can reduce stress uh, from other people and take it to themselves. Comboing with um, the death blow and getting those afflictions. So it's a cool class. I like it. It's from the DLC. It's not a mod. Next up, we've got Father Canarin de Moray. He is our exorcist. He's hard skin, so extra protection. Slow reflexes and diurnal, which are, you know, fine. His skills right now, he's got Chastise, so extra damage versus Eldritch and Unholy. He's got Word of Power, which is uh, starts out at minus 40% damage, but every time he uses this, Word of Power gets stronger and stronger. I don't know how many rounds it lasts for, uh, but it's also boosted versus Eldritch and Unholy. Um, Vade Retro is a knockback and a stun that hits up our torch as well. 
cooldown of two rounds, and it debuffs the target for minus three speed. Very, very nice. Very powerful. That's why it's on a cooldown. Perdition uh, bypasses and de-stealths, marks a target, adds torch, and debuffs them for minus 8% crits received. So really good in uh, marking groups. Benediction's a small heal that clears horror, stun, mark targets, and it debuffs him uh, minus 2 speed. We have Ashes to Ashes, which is a small stress heal. 73% chance to do minus 2 stress. Um, but 50% extra stress is healed per corpse that's cleared. Pretty, pretty specific use case, but it's not bad to have unlocked. And then Proselytize. You can mark a target, one of our own, but give them an Aegis block. It's a cooldown of three rounds. It also buffs that target with extra speed, extra damage, and crit versus marked. So, uh, yeah, these, this is a cool class. Father Canaran de More's backstory is this. Many men see a man of God and assume that he stands for virtue and eradicating the scourge of eldritch and blight in the world. Whilst the latter may be true for the father, he is far from virtuous. Killing, looting, torture were all everyday tasks for this alcohol-dependent man while he was working for the church. Some wonder if it was them that had sent him, whilst others believe it was... Others believe it to be his attempt to... Or his attempt to reconcile guilt from the crusades and witch hunts. The only thing that is truly known about the estate's resident inquisitor is that his skills are not a mystery, unlike his reason. He brings invaluable skills in ensuring the lives of anything unholy. And it, if he deems his allies worthy enough, may soon tell them more of his adventurous life, provided they are paying for the ale, of course. A little bit of a drinker, Father Canon Canarin de More. Welcome, I'm sure you'll fit right in. Last up, we've got our Musketeer Lumi Medved uh, coming in with aim shot. So a lot of damage and crit versus marked hitting that back line. Buckshot, which is a damage fall off hitting positions one, two, and three. Does a little bit of armor piercing. Um, this is a free action. Buffs self one damage and 20% armor piercing. Debuffs us where we get six stress on misses and reduces our speed. And then this refreshes once per battle when you get a kill. Uh, Smoke screen hits the middle group. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it reduces their speed and has a chance to stun. Um, Stealth while stunned. Very interesting. Retreating shot. So if we're in a position we don't want to be and we want to move back, we can target anybody. Uh, slight damage reduction, but it also activates uh, repost. We have embolden. So a little bit of stress clearance, clears stun, and it buffs the target to speed and some stun resist. And then skeet shot. Bypasses stealth, de-stealth, and marks. They take extra crits. And uh, enemy party mark target at 9% chance. I'm actually not sure what that means exactly, the way that's written. But um, it'll be fun trying to figure that out regardless. Okay, so this is Lumi's bio. I was a young adult when life decided to take a turn for the worst. Not that I haven't experienced the backhand of life before up until that point. Father was always more than happy to lend a hand in that regard. For you see, my mother, the only soul to ever truly love me, had fallen ill. The hamlet we call home didn't have any remedies to relieve the ailment that had befallen my mother. As such, I took it upon my own to go and search for someone that could assist. I spoke to many a doctor, but none offered relief. In the disparity, I turned to the occult, but again, my path was blocked. There are rumors, though of a hamlet not far from me, that perhaps might have that which I seek. It comes with many a warning, but I am confident in myself. Awesome. Okay, so let's figure out where we're going next. I'm thinking we probably go to the Weald or to the Warrens. Uh, Warrens, I believe, is like humans and beasts. This is, I think, beasts and eldritch. This is eldritch and anything else in there? Are they all eldritch? And then we have unholy and eldritch, I think. So there's always kind of like that overlap between the two. Anyways, uh, portraits would be nice. We're pretty low there. Uh, we have a lot of busts. Let's um, let's plan to go to the Warrens here. Who are we going to take? We have so many people that we haven't brought out. Um, I think we'll bring Nightwalker in the front. Germaphobe. No trinkets, preferably. Yeah, I think that's cool. Uh, we'll bring one of our... Let's bring one of our shield breakers. The blight here is nice. He's not in the right position, though. Let's see. We can actually... We could swap these. Might want to unlock Serpent Sway so we get those two Aegis blocks. You can use that twice per battle. Don't know that we need to expose right now. We're not dealing with a lot of stealth. 
So we'll just focus in on using uh, Blight as much as possible. Pierce is good. Puncture is good. Bypasses guard. Does a pull. Okay. And then for some backline, we should probably focus on bringing him into Eldritch and Unholy areas. Like um, the ruins. We could bring Lumi, I think. For that backline damage. And then... He can kind of self-heal. I'm just looking at... Do we even need to bring healing right now? I don't want to bring Gray because I don't want to out-level them too hard on these lower, uh, shorter missions. So maybe we could bring... We could bring Mika. It's not bad. It lets us de-stress because these guys are all going to take stress going into the dungeon. And what I'll do is I'll put um, I'll put Meek at the front. We can just start off a battle with Finale, and then we go to the back, and we can um, we can use either Solo or Inspiring Tune or Battle Ballad to buff. We'll unlock some of these. I think this will be our squad. It's not like an amazing setup, but it'll be okay. Let's do bleed skills here. Uh, we're not going to go any trinkets. I want to see how that works out for us. We'll go with some damage. We'll take the accuracy on range skills in the back there. Um, we'll take the extra blight skill chances on our shield breaker. And I think this is okay. Let's roll with this. Okay, so back in town, a couple of things I want to get rid of. First thing is Jeff. No, wait. Brooks. He's got this antsy. He just adds stress when he's in town. I really want to handle that if we can. 1350. Let's see. We could save 10%. I'm just looking at where we might want to be upgrading. I think we're going to take this. Even though we're not taking out any level 1s, we won't be able to benefit from it. I just want to make sure that we're putting stuff into here. Because ultimately, I want to get to here. So once we get Instructor Mastery level 2, Weaponsmithing and Armorsmithing up to level 2, then uh, we can get Experience Recruits. So these two need to come. And then we need to get Instructor Mastery here. So, okay. I think that's fine. This is not where I want to be. Sanitarium. I'm okay investing in this because these guys are people that we're going to have around for a long time. Experimental techniques because we're not dismissing, overcome things these things do help. Let's do this. We also have a disease here on Caliban. How much is this going to cost? 750. It's actually not bad. If I do a couple more trades here, we can reduce disease treatment cost a bit. Curious methodologies and apparatus. And then we got to get Jeff in, in for some stress relief so. somewhere. I guess we can put him into here. This one's upgraded. The top one's upgraded, but he needs a he needs a heavy dose of penance. Enjoy, Mavis and Lightus. They'll probably reduce a little bit over time here, but um, I think that's pretty good. We will soon start getting into some longer missions, but early on, I think it's best to kind of keep our guys leveling at a at a even pace, and then. I like to generally do a little babysitting where we have somebody at a higher uh, level, but I think this group is actually pretty good sustain-wise. We should be able to get... Um, we should be able to handle all of the stress that happens with that Jester. Okay. So let's go in here and figure out what we want. I'm going to unlock pretty much all of these. So we'll start off with a finale. Even though it's not super strong, you get that damage uh, modification straight off. And then you go to the back line. From there, harvest isn't going to be that good. Um, I can even just set this as one. 
And then this will be the thing that we're using pretty much all the time. Um, this would move us forward three. Don't know if I really want that. Okay, let me switch this up a bit. So I'm going to go... Hmm. Let's go Dirk Stab. Be stress. Battle Ballad. And this. I don't like this is going to force me to cut, to move around a little bit. Um, but with that back line, I think it's okay. We'll see how it feels and uh, change it up if necessary. Okay. We definitely want to take... We're going to be in the front line. So we're going to take this one for the Aegis Blocks. Bypasses guard and pulls. We'll take this as well. So our basic attack. I actually think our basic attack is going to be here. Then we have Pierce. We have uh, Captivate and Serpent Sway. Reign of Soros to hit that back line is actually kind of nice. I don't know if we need to have both of these big healing options. We have stress handled with the Jester. I guess the Suffer could be situational. So first, second. If we get low, we use this to heal and do massive bleed. And then I think just a standard heal here is kind of nice as well. Lastly, this hits the back line. This buffs and refreshes on kills. Random target activates for post. And then skeet shot. I'm going to unlock this and probably ignore skeet shot for now we don't have a ton of mark synergy happening something like that is cool okay so our group is set we've handled our stress we've got some perk management happening we only have 5,000 gold because of all these unlocks we're doing as I said, this is going to be challenging economically. We know that. I really hope we get an Antiquarian soon so I can start working those into our runs and getting some extra cash. If you guys have advice on ways to get extra cash early, let me know. Uh, I'm not I'm not opposed to selling trinkets when I need to either. So uh, especially some of these basic ones that we're not going to use, I'll just sell them for cash and I'll be pretty happy with it. But we're heading out into the Warrens next. So wish me luck and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.